Isle of Dogs stars Brian Cranston, Koyu Rankin, Edward Norton, Bob Balaban, Jeff Goldblum, Bill Murray, among a host of others. Written and directed by Wes Anderson, it was released on Blu-ray July 17, 2018, and runs 101 minutes. Isle of Dogs follows a 12-year-old boy named Atari on a journey to find his dog Spots. Atari became an orphan following a tragic train accident and was adopted by his uncle Kobayashi, the dog-hating, corrupt mayor of Megasaki. For security purposes, Atari is assigned a guard dog named Spots, who is the first dog to be banished to a nearby trash island after a canine-related sickness breaks out, which a scientist running against the mayor is on the verge of curing. By this time, all the dogs in Megasaki have been exiled to Trash Island. Cut to our dog scavenging on Trash Island, fighting with other packs of dogs, and having an exposition scene with each dog explaining what kind of pet they used to be. Edward Norton is Rex, Bob Balaban is King, Jeff Goldblum is Duke, Bill Murray is Boss, and Brian Cranston is Chief, with Scarlett Johansson as Nutmeg, F. Murray Abraham as Jupiter, Tilda Swinton as Oracle, and Harvey Keitel as Gondo. When Atari Crash lands on Trash Island, Chief wants to eat him, but the rest want to help him. Chief is the leader of the pack, at the same time the outcast, previously being a stray and not a house pet like the others. Later on, the group is separated, and Atari and Chief are left to venture together, where they eventually bond and become friends. They meet up with the others and find Jupiter and Oracle, who warn them of Mayor Kobayashi's next step in his plan to exterminate the dogs. They all believe Oracle is an all-seeing psychic, when really, she's the only dog there who can understand the TV she overhears, so her visions are really just relayed news broadcasts. Without over-explaining too much more, the corrupt government is exposed, and things change for the better. As for the main story of Atari searching for spots, if you haven't seen it, I'll leave that for you to discover. As with all Wes Anderson movies, the detail is amazing, in the puppets and the scenery. The scenery has an obvious contrast between Trash Island, which is very bright, vivid, and saturated with sunlight, which gradually gets darker as they travel, while the city of Megasaki, where the corrupt government and dog-hating, brainwashed citizens reside, is almost exclusively depicted at night. Atari is a tragic character and takes a beating throughout the film, a victim of a train crash where he lost his parents. He crashes his plane on Trash Island twice, getting a piece of propeller lodged in his head, falling, crashing, fighting, and finally getting another piece of shrapnel lodged into the other side of his head, getting a guard dog only to have it taken from him. Now this character has been through the ringer. Brian Cranston does a great job as chief, but it's Edward Norton's voice that stood out for me and think fits best among the group of voice actors. I always wondered if they tried getting George Clooney again to voice the lead because he and Brian Cranston sound so much alike. The way the dogs converse and play off of each other is so witty, smooth, and natural sounding. Whether it's discussing a plan, revealing personal information about themselves, gossiping, or frequently bringing up rumors. The movie has a confidence about it you can see and hear. The animation is top-notch and very expressive, as well as the sound and voice acting. When it comes to stop motion, the movie really struts its stuff. For example, there's a complex sequence of three musicians playing at the same time for the intro and outro of the film, perfectly in sync with the music. It's quite a sight to see, considering the effort required for any stop-motion animation. Another notable creative detail shows a few characters and news broadcasters being filmed, with the pictures on the behind-the-set monitors in a hand-drawn anime style, matching the stop-motion puppets. The only beef I have is when Tracy, played by Greta Gerwig, is alone in her room, working out her theory on the mayor's corruption and sequence of events. She admits having a crush on Atari, but besides her saying that to herself, and Atari calling her attractive during his final speech, nothing more develops from it. Overall, Isle of Dogs is an above-average film, exquisitely animated. Though the story didn't compel me the same way Fantastic Mr. Fox did, it's definitely still worth viewing. 8 out of 10.